Welcome back, everyone, to TNO, of course, Last Days of Europe. I'm your host, Burgundian Leva Mokalava. And which, right now, well, we're currently finishing up another focus that the factories of the destruction. When examining the lives of lesser beings, one could look onto their lives as um, involuntary workers, as being a part of sort of mercy to them. Whilst extermination would be the most desirable outcome for them on account of all parties involved, a life of, sl of uh, involuntary working allows them to participate in the growing successes of the masters of this world, toiling every waking hour for a greater success until they eventually die out, as it would be destined for them. For anything less would allow this world to be grafted with further corruption, as showcased within the Americas, were Judeal, Bolshevik, Democracies and capitalistic tendencies let them tear each other apart, like rival families of rats in a sewage pipe today. They shall find themselves growing more useful, however. Today, we will begin the mass relocation of undesirable, um, <clears throat> workers towards Orodomo in order to construct larger and more numerous factories where these slaves shall live and where they shall work and where they shall die. I can't believe I just said that word at the end, but whatever. We got one day's left, and then mon monthly skilled workers growth and in industry berserk Orodomo or camp... Camp greatness, Rodomo, will decrease by 50. Oh, bring it on. Oh, yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Because we got too many of them already. Oh, invest. Oh, yes. Okay, good. So, um, I already did this off screen, like, just to get us ready. But already, like, we already have too many uh, workers here in different areas that we don't really need. So, yeah, we're just going to continue. Oh, this is actually really bad. 3,200. Yeah. Um, just this one alone. There you go. Something like that. Ah, go up by 50. Oh, I guess we can't. Oh, crap. Oh, well, Rodomo, you're going to have to get through, burn through a lot of guys. That actually sounds really, really bad after I said it like that. Ah, this is a campaign. This is a campaign. All right, so we're maxed out already by taking a thousand, a thousand more out. Expand the workforce. Began the expansion that will allow us to increase our factory output by 5%. Over the next four months, decrease by 650. That's not enough. And begin expansion. Construction speed by 5%. Is that all? Only 200, 286? Is that all? Like, I am ready to pump more in there if we have to. Like, I am just ready to go and just do it. But, how about we do another focus? So, as you can see, the focus tree is a little screwed up. And the stuff regarding about Hadrish losing the Civil War is gone. It's unfortunate, so we can't rescue more of our soldiers and stuff like that. It is what it is. But I'll let you know that Bormann did win the German Civil War, which is probably not a bad thing for us. And hopefully they don't mess with us, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Unity Pact is looking a little smaller. Of course, they do have Bulgaria, but... It'll happen. Things will happen. We'll put it like that. So, now, forced relocations. Oh. Unlock the ability to expand the Rodomo camps in exchange for skilled workers. We're still doing Global Plan Bail right now. Just because we're waiting for Viaka to get off their bus and do something. Drag out the war for South Africa. That's okay. Apparently, we lost the stuff. Yeah, we lost the stuff about, um... Hadrish and stuff like that. So, that's fine. Whatever. Cutting the cords. Uh, how is the war going down in South... Or at least Africa? Well, things have not really changed too much. So, I'm not really too worried about it. Uh, let's see. So if that's a case, uh, what do we want to do? Leibniz culture, expand the autobahns. Infrastructure and extra building slots are true goal. We could do that as we do in the bear. Um, bringing up the grand plans. Uh, unlock decisions for recon reconstructing the Odenstadt cities as monuments of brutalism, increasing the growth of skilled workers. Uh, we're kind of okay for now. True brutalist designs. Well, how about we go ahead and do work as freedom? Oh, that's not bad. Industrial expertise, society development begin to worsen. Growing chaos. Eh, nah, let's do forced relocation. What once was a corrupted and unholy French land of Rouen has become the industrial powerhouse we have dreamed it to be. And revolutionizing the area to become Rodomo, one of the largest and most economically powerful lands of the Oldenstadt every day. The lesser men and women of this accursed world toil beneath their Aryan masters, working to ensure a new dawning for power within the world as our economy grows and climbs. Fending off any treasonous warnings of implosion, however, whilst Rodomo has already pleased those in power reigning power re over the new industrious KZ Lager throughout the city of Rodomo. Standing auto to its growth will prove to be its downfall. Instead, we shall take the initiative by relocating the sections of the Ordenstadt's populace to reside inside the Rodomo, propping up several new areas of residence, allowing these new arrivals to work diligently for the greater glory of all Aryan kind. Very good, very good, very good. Now, hopefully, Vyaka does well here. So, the Brotherhood is gone. Bashkiria is looking pretty good. These guys are actually doing relatively great. And they actually made a double encirclement, which is kind of, kind of imp impressive. And there goes Gorky, which is unfortunate. Quite unfortunate. And we still have a little bit of debt. And we're running out of fuel, so I decided, you know what, how we get our fuel refinery first, that might be really good for us. So, we'll do that. Um, actually, let's see. Workers minus 450, is that all? Seriously, like, I, I, we need to throw more in there. Like, I am I am more than ready to throw more guys in there. And girls, too, if, we need, if need be, so. 
Um, currently, supplies are 62, so that's not too bad. But after forced relocation, how about we cut the cords? No. Ah. Yeah, you know what? Let's cut the cords. Well, Hutug and his African SS believe themselves to be exemplars of guerrilla warfare, succeeding in bogging down the tides of the South African war. They do not possess the unleashed freedom nor the resources required to cause true guerrilla terror upon the African fronts. We need to only cut some of the strings which encumber our puppets in Africa and grant them our remaining munitions and equipment so that they may be orchestrated to conduct true attacks of terror. No roads shall be safe and no bridge shall remain intact, as every step taken further into the heart of Africa shall become an ever more treacherous one. Oh, yes, please. All right, so we can sabotage a lot of people, increase the fire core. Uh, how strong is Vyaka right now? Uh, 7,000 manpower, that's not bad. They have eight divisions, so we could probably give them a few more guys. It's only one, th one supply anyway, so that's not too bad. Ooh, anything else? Divide the front. Well, they're already struggling against Komi, which is a little... Wow. Oh, that is... They're trading, like, these guys are pushing down south. Well, these guys are pushing up north. This is very weird. Very weird. Walloon. Oh, expanding camps? Can house less than 25,000 to ha additional house additional 5,000 skilled workers. Over the next course of the four months, the worker population will be decreased by 800. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Minus 600. Come on. Come on. More, 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 more. Uh oh. It is November, so let's go double the. Make sure we got this okay. Uh, make sure that one is still going to be okay. We have 20 more officers. Uh, actually, you don't want to increase that too, because we can. Anything else for out here? 2300. Uh, lower by one. Because we're running out of space everywhere else. That's roughly good enough. 2,900, that's good enough for now. Rodomo, you don't have enough in there. And 1,800, oh, that's really bad. There you go. And down here, 1,600. There you go. And we can take it just a little bit more. There you go. Okay, Rodomo, I lied. Here, take, hit, take so much more. Actually, what's a... Uh, Charlemagne has quite high loyalty there, as well as... Well, as lo well Loon loyalty, okay. Well, whatever. Grosser on Paris, looking okay, pretty good. Versailles? Oh, no, no, we want... No, we want, yeah, Paris. Paris itself. We'll take them off your hands. We'll take them off your hands as well. Versailles is looking pretty darn good. Evero is looking better now. Uh, this one, you can lower it by... That's good. And this one, you can do it by quite a bit, actually. 18 is almost 19. That's good enough. Vichy, we can take 50 more. 50 more. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. So hopefully Global Plan B does uh, goes as fast as possible. So my goal is like hopefully at this point, because we're building ourselves up so much, maybe except for political power, that we can do the next plans very quickly. But we'll see what happens. Uh, work is freedom. Factory output increased by ten percent and production efficiency by five percent. Ah, work is freedom. Many good Aryan men have used the intelligence their genetics have blessed them with, unlike the other mutated scum of the earth, to ponder the reasons for which the like failed, where we have begun to succeed. Some say political rivalry, some say economic failures, but we truly know what? Devotion, or their the lack of. Germans are not dedicated enough to their blood home, to the place where they earn the spotlight as the true inheritors of world power, and, regarding our infrastructural projects, we should not lack any form of devotion which curse the Reich. Every slave will work, every man, woman, and child shall find place... Uh, to work inside Rodomo, and both Aryan and Undesirable find themselves serving the Odin shot. If a limb gives out, cut it off. If another man falls, he'll be butchered as we, as the weak swine he is. KZ, Laga, Rodomo will rise, we shall rise. No questions asked. And someone's gone. Oh, there goes Slovakia. But they're back. Okay, so here, why not? Cool, and give us your stuff. Seriously, just give us your guys. We don't have enough. And Valampon, not bad. Not bad. Um, that's really not a much. That's not really much here at all. So that's good enough for now, you guys. You know, I I, I will actually decrease it by quite a big amount so that we make sure that they're still under us. Uh, you guys, that's good. Over here, that's good. Twenty two hundred. Take it out. There you go. Balloon. Actually, they're actually they're pretty happy with us, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, we should do pretty darn well now with this stuff. Uh we can leave it be for now. Oh wait, we can build factories. Oh, wait, hold on. All spaces... Oh, I mean, I technically we are... You know what? Let's try that. Campen? Where's Campen? Campen. Burgund. Suli Lur. Do, do, do. Ron. Here it is. So, here... And Ryman. And Campen. In exchange... Oh! For 1,500 skilled workers, we can rush construction of a new weapons factory? Dude, that is awesome, awesome. I did not realize that. Grocer on Paris? 
Oh, I did. Oh, I, I'm loving this. Wow. I love this. I want to build more. Oh, oh, that's not good. It is December now, though, so that's good to know. Um, if that's the case, in Normandy, where's Normandy? If they have too many guys there, just go ahead and do boom, boom. The, uh, that is... That is... We actually have way too many police officers here for this, then. But that's okay. We can take some of them off. Actually, take quite a few of them off, then. One to one ratio, almost. Very good. All right. Take a look over here. That's good. Take, give me those guys. 2,600. 2,200. Good. Over here, 1,800. That is really ridiculously good. Um, eventually, we will run a building slot, so we do got to keep be careful about that. There you go. And we can take 50 more. There you go. Yeah, I need more building slots now. Huh. We do have 300 police officers here, so... It's not bad. Paris. I'm just looking for loyalty right now. Uh, and we're doing pretty darn well. Like, wow. Over here, not bad. Loyalty, 30. Ooh, I don't like that. There you go. Go to 200. That'd be good. Over here. There you go. 2100. Uh, let's even out the numbers. There you go. Two. That's pretty good. And over here... Uh, I hate that it's an weird number like that. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, there you go. We have an extra 100 police. Not bad. Pretty good, I'd say. Pretty darn good. And is this number? So it's almost 1965. Shanks, empty tanks, growing chaos. Why not? Although the South Africans are not upon our side of the war in Africa, they are no good as a foe if they are defeated. And all efforts thus far undertaken by the Orden shot will have to be for naught should Cape Town fall too easily. This domino shall simply fall should they be stopped short by a premature South African surrender. The temporary remedy to this is simple. We shall ensure that they are granted the means to continue their little struggle so that we may continue settling, setting the stage for a much more exciting act. The South Africans surely won't question whether they should have received any extra delivery to the American armaments. Alright, not bad. We could use more political power, but that's okay. And what are we doing? Oh, that's one. We only lose 600 guys a month. That's not bad. Seriously, that's really not bad. It is 64. It's almost 65. Just going to grab some more construction speed for this stuff. That's fine. As well as resource efficiency gain because, well, we don't want to extract a lot of fuel. Nobody wants to trade with us. Go figure. Bunch of degenerate untermensch they are. But hey, not bad. We're making quite a bit of support equipment, which is nice. Actually, artillery is looking pretty good already. Going, we need more support equipment, so... There goes Poland, there goes Auslan, very nice. Dreschler wins, good job, Dreschler. Optimize it, let's see, production efficiency, eh, that's okay, maybe we can wait a little bit first. Oh, the Pacific Fleet, goodbye Pacific Fleet. Anything up here? No. Thursday, October 5th, Oh, civilian budget boost, no, 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 no. There you go, that's good, that's good. My name is Charles Macron. I'm a citizen of the French Republic, a social democrat, a Christian, and an inmate at the Rodomo Industrial Work Camp. I've been beaten up five times since my arrival here one week ago. I say this number not to complain of my circumstances because many are suffering much worse, but because there's no one else to tell. I cannot tell my fellow prisoners, as they might well report me in order to earn some small respite for themselves and sharing much personal and such personal information is viewing viewed as building the bonds that lead to insurrection. I cannot tell my wife Clara, as it may make her fear more for my safety than she does currently, which could lead to a mistake under part detrimental to all of us. I cannot tell my children Anna and Luis and Louis so as, as to do so would be monstrous. I think I have not slept since I arrived at this accursed place as I seem to believe that we only need five hours to sleep with whatever we're putting they're putting in our food but the factory is always going and even when I lay my head upon my bundle of clothes I cannot close my eyes but for the pounding. Should this diary ever be read the intelligent observer might wonder how I obtained the materials with which to make it. Surely the SS like many other tyrants throughout history would have taken my quill and paper as a class closest a substitute for my mind thankfully. I was given an accounting shift from which I was able to steal these beloved items. My heart was pounding as it did so. I know that if I were caught, it would result in my torture and death, luckily in front of my family. My death is imminent. I feel it in my bowels when I eat this sloppy fetus, and when I poop, when the kosh hits me for closing my eyes too long at work. More likely than not, Claire will soon follow me. I can only hope that her children might live to see the collapse of this wretched Oldenstadt and to have the lives of their own. I put all in danger, put them all in danger by writing this, but I can think of no other way to strike back at those who treat us so cruelly. God help us all. Oh well. I still don't like this, but once January hits, we'll do okay. Honestly, you know what? Screw it. We're going, we're going to go back up. Maximize this place. Maximize it out. You know why? Just because we're going to put a lot of guys here. We're going to put a lot of guys here. Happy January, everyone! Hey! Oh, they're doing better now. Ooh, Evero? Oh, that's not good. We'll take what you guys got. I'd love to build more factories. And just in case. Boom. That's good. 
over down here. That is good enough. Over here in Rhone is almost good. That is actually perfect. 62. Cool. There you go. That should be good enough. Close. That's close enough to good enough. Keep building, 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 because we're going to run out of fuel. And then fight to German. Yep. Shanks tanks. Miller's broken roads. Uh, how do we do this one? Oh, we need, well, we can do Laban's cult here. Uh, our true goal. Let's do Laban's cult here. The Reich Führer SS has recognized the need of a more efficient, dedicated, and focused infrastructure in order to guarantee the success of the Oldenstadt and, in turn, his vision. Thus, we must recognize that our economy must stand on the strengths of the Aryan worker, who so diligently provides the needs of the state by his dedication alone. However, influences of the modern era have corrupted what could have been good men into the fallacious belief that, as workers of the state, they inherit some form of individual right and freedom to enjoy the work. This is not National Socialism's way, however, as such foolish ideas of socialistic rights were a key part of what corrupted the Reich in the first place. Thus, in reorganizing our economic structure in order to guarantee the and shut success. We shall develop a system and to monitor and prod workers into greater efficiency, thus producing the greatest infrastructure that we could hope for by the work of the Aryan. Where to go but forward? It was a dark stormy night as the Reichsfeer SS sat at his desk with the raining clamoring onto his window and with the only candle in the room snuffed out. The thunderous bolts raining down by the gods were the only source of light for the leader of the Oldenstadt. In front of him lay the intelligence file regarding Leon de Grel. De Grel, the former leader of the Belgian region of the Oldenstadt. De Grel, the traitor of traitors who led devilish revolutionaries to wage open war against his Aryan masters, Leon de Grel found dead at the end of such a great search for him. Though the path de Grel led appeared miserable, it gave the Reichsfeer SS a chilling thought regarding more threats to the plan. How on earth did he expect to bring about the vision into the world if he did not have the rest of these potential and former rebels succumbing to his rule? Like a rag, starving Holland to the man holding in the stake? Allowing the French will or Belgian to remain stewing in the scorn and defeat as they are treated as such will be inevitably see them revolt. However, if we just so happen to placate them for long enough, perhaps it would give the Reichsfeer SS and the Oldenstadt enough time to bring about the plan into the world and see the necessity of such a pacifistic awakening of our will gone from this earth? A plan is brewing, my friends. Global Plan Puma is available to advance to the mighty warrior of the West, the Reichsfeer SS. Our intelligence agents operating in North America have reported a great new rel revelation to our Foreign Intelligence Administration. With the chaos of divisive politics and the degeneracy of democracy rupturing the nation, the election of the next president of the U.S., while the pig style teacher, the decrepit degenerate, the foolish child, and the raging bull all have fought ferociously to earn the chair of D.C., the nation has been left defenseless from our operations should we proceed with Global Plan Puma. With any hope, the stars and stripes they swear by shall burn with every one of them, with all dedication and courage. As is Obergruppenführer Heinrich Müller. The Beacon of Liberty flickers. Very good, as we are currently still trying to finish up Leben's Kultur, and I've already gone ahead for this month. Um, I think I did all this stuff already, so... Even though there's not a lot of loyalty here from Charles, uh, to Himmler, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. And actually, we're lacking a little bit of supplies. We actually have open slots. A new type of city. From its earliest days, National Socialism has always been defined for its commitment to the Aryan worker. As it stands, Burgundian labor has gone a long way to realizing this ideal. In the Oldenstadt, the Aryan toils for the good of the race, free from the material and degenerate pursuits that contaminate his work's ethic and racial purity in the Reich and elsewhere, everywhere else. Our workers are watched and carefully controlled by eagle-eyed SS commissars who make sure that everyone works at maximum efficiency. While this might be enough for some lesser nations, it is not nearly disciplined and powerful enough for the realization of the Oldenstadt's vision and the plans of our glorious Reichsfeer SS. There's still too much left, or theft, too much corruption, and too much laziness amongst our workers. In order to rectify the situation and allow our Aryan everyday heroes to achieve the full capabilities of the race, we must undertake the construction of the new several model cities. These will be the sanctuaries of the new Aryan race, where they will be undistracted by petty trivialities and pintless pleasures. The black sun rises high over the Ordenstraat and will soon shine over a new sort of city, an edifice of strength and racial purity rather than degeneracy. When night falls, those who survive will only be the strongest, molded and trained in these cities, ready to build a new world. Progress marches on. Now, uh, we're still going to get to talk about this stuff, which we will later on, on Savory Friends versus our own hands. But the stench of deceit investigations into the disloyal and plotting legions will be authorized, which I kind of want to do dealing with headless chickens. Haha. <laughs> ready the strings, ready the cleaver. Huh. And finding a ghost, or fighting a ghost. Alright. Our true goal? Uh, you know what, how about we do the true goal? Maybe get that one started, perhaps. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, actually, we can use resource efficiency game first, though, because we can use slightly more fuel, which isn't very much, but still. The management of all mines, wells, rigs, and refineries in the old and shot is run haphazardly, with local gotletters allowing to make their own rules and set their own management policies as they see fit in any scenario. This lack of oversight and organization is incredibly dangerous and may be exploited by Jewish elements in order to completely cripple the old and shot's economy in our hour of need. There needs to be a system to manage them, and soon. So how's the war in South Africa going? 
It really hasn't changed very much, but there goes Harold Wilson. Yeah, it's completely at a standstill. It looks like even though these guys might get cut off here, which is... Well, it is what it is. Uh, global plan, bad. Uh, prop up the Tsar, increase the fry court. Yeah, that's going to do that one, so we can give him some more stuff. We're still looking pretty good right here. Not too worried about that. Only 500 people a month. You know, it is what it is. Still, but we could stabilize South Africa now if we really wanted to, but no. How's America doing? I think they elected LBJ, right? Ooh, did they lose... Guiana? They might have, yeah. Uh, how divided is America right now? The Kennedy of... Le uh, Legacy of Kennedy, I should say. American Despair. Alright, not bad. So at high. Token Civil Rights. Alright, alright. I might want to do that. Oh, Expand the workforce. Um, let's increase the population by 1100. Fact more factory output. Um, construction speed. I like construction speed. Production efficiency. How about we do that one? I like construction speed. Factory output is really nice, but construction speed, shall we? We shall. Very nice. And it is March, so we must address this a little bit better. And which we will. And, and oh, we can invest? Why not? More supplies, thank you. Man, this is a global plan bad is taking forever to do, my goodness. Uh expanded mining equipment? District equipment. Oh, why not? Expanded mining equipment. The economy which allows us to carry out the will of the Reichsfeer SS throughout the lands of the Olden Shot finds success within the very fruits born from the world itself. Gifts for the modern area man, of course. The decadent Frenchmen who ruled over these lands for centuries found no use in striking the earth and truly delving into their economic potential as the greedy tentacles of capitalistic decadent slothfulness constrained and choked away any form of potential success out of the French. However, upon the stone and earth by which the Gaul fell. The area shall find prosperity, as it shall become our economic priority. To claw into the lands which bear jewels, gold, and other treasures that shall stoke the flame fueling the Oldenstadt. The outdated, broken-down equipment shall be replaced with the most advanced mining operative equipment available to us, as the Oldenstadt shall find wealth in these ashen lands. Very good. And, like normal, we must come here and address the issues. Uh, that is almost perfect. This one is almost perfect. There you go. And we do need some more workers, we'll say. So, good. Normandy, you're not even bothered with that. You guys over here is more than fine enough. Uh, take it out by two. There you go. Over here, one, two. Good enough. Over here, it's good enough. Uh, Grosse Ronde Paris, looking very good. Versailles is... No, it's not Versailles. It's Paris itself. We could use more police officers there. Yeah, and take off actually quite a few of them. There you go. That's nice. Over here, that's good. Over here, that's good. Over here, we actually... We decimated a lot of the work camps we have currently, so... Uh, not bad. Really, really, really not bad at all. Uh, again, lower by 50. We have more than enough room for more people now, so... Hopefully they'll breed like rabbits again. Because I would like more supplies if possible. Yeah, we can get rid of those guys if we really need to. We can build more factories, but we're currently kind of okay. My goodness, bad is taking forever to do. Mm, expand the workforce. Factory output, screw it. We can do that one. Why not? Expanding the camps? Very good. Capacity is 10,000. Now it's 50,000. Good, good, good. Only only minus 1,000. Wow. That's that's actually quite a bit. Holy crap. That is an extreme amount that we need in there. So, Rodomo. Um, yeah, why not? You can have about that much. That's not too bad. Thank you. And it's almost April. And the south... Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened? What happened? Whoa! That is not ideal. Huh. Well, that sucks. Um... I was definitely not expecting that at all, with uh, South Africa winning that quickly, but okay. That's not ideal, but happy April. Let's come back over here and let's see. Do it by one. Thank you. Ah, they're all loyal. Good. Good. Over here, good enough. Over here, good enough. Over here, good uh, Almost good enough. There you go. And over here. You know what? Get up to there. Row, not bad. Down here, it's not bad. Ballon pont. I do apologize once again for taking so long to do this stuff. It's just that we have to do it every single time. Not bad. Over here, not bad. Over here, uh, lower by 50. Over here, not bad. Versailles, pretty... Uh, actually, Versailles. There you go. Grosse Ronde Paris. Looking not too bad. Pretty good, actually. Over here, one, two, three, four. And over here, um... They're actually going to need... We have no extra skilled labor. Uh, that might have been actually a bit too much. There you go. That's, uh, that's a little better. Cool. So that sucks that they actually won down there. That sucks. That's actually much faster than I thought they could win. We up so much for helping Hutig. Yeah, I thought usually they win by themselves, but for some reason they did really, really well. Man in Africa, out of the shadows, deploying a new ally, igniting Hutig's rage, taking drastic measures. Well, I guess there's no point going down that way. So I'd like to do that one. Ooh, 
Total Standardisierung. Oh. Improve our industrial equipment in exchange for temporary decreases to industrial output. Uranium mines? I would kind of like that, but let's do our true goal. Uh, first, a successful first nuclear test is cause enough for celebration, but the time for focus and hard work is ahead of us. If this data is not go is not to go to waste, we must analyze it and use it to help us look into the future. Very good. And how's this looking over here? Um, Wow, Vyaka, you are a mess. Jesus. Can you at least win or lose? Because we need to keep moving on. Seriously, we need to keep moving on with this. Because we're, we're behind in global plans. It's just my hope that we can... Uh... Oh, we actually built the thing here first. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I'm going to lower some of this other stuff first. But uh, just build. Like, we need to build, 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 build. Burgund, one, two, three. Get refineries, 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 refineries. Um... Sabotage on the sign. The mechanical breakdowns in Indo Industrial uh, Berserk Rodomov unfortunately persisted, and some were worse than ever. In an ammo depot, it had to be evacuated last week when an electrical fire broke out near the power to storage, but it was thankfully contained in time before the entire depot was incinerated. These incidents have unfortunately become a semi-frequent occurrence, but what if they are more than just like incidents? It does not take a genius to suspect sabotage in a place where many rebellious intimentions are pressed into service. Rumors of a resistance movement are swirling amongst guards and more disturbingly among the workers. If there are saboteurs among them, the belief that there is an outside group that will aid them may cause them to become even more brazen in their nefarious deeds. Local police chiefs have already put in requests for more men. Unless the situation can continue to escalate, very well. Due to heightened standard, more quick more guards will be required in order to effectively surveil them. Um okay, I mean we we're doing pretty well already. I mean we can lower this by a little bit more. That's fine with me. I don't really care. Sabotage the front. Uh you know we could probably sabotage the front then. But factionalism oh actually fuck files. You know what? That's good, that's fine. And uh, sabotage the front. We still have how many supplies? We still have 43, which is taking so long. Oh, look, stability, and that's not good. Oh, that's not really not good. Oh, that's not good. Mm. Expand the camps. That, that's just a bit too much. I think for now, minus 1,000 is good enough. Boost, cut. There you go. That's better for stability. And our true goal, in which we will read next... Let's do the stench of deceit. Finally, the lands of Western Europe are rest safely under our control, as the Oldenstadt maintains a position of domination over all those who would be traitors to the Aryan cause, with nationalistic sentiments and Judeo-Bolshevist movements across our lands having been destroyed before they could work to undo our efforts of purification. Now, more than ever, we find ourselves in a seat of global power. However, there are those within our lands who still remain shaken and even influenced by those corrupted tra traitors. It shall be our imperative to remind everyone across our lands, from the most pure Aryan to the most disgusting subhuman, as to who truly sits in power, now that the dust has settled from those insidious dudes who against us. Very cool. Per Aspera Ad Astra, our first test was a success, albeit a limited one. It was proof of concept more than anything else, a sign that the Burgundian nuclear program is viable. We will not tell the world, they are smart enough to figure out what we have done on their own. The most important thing is that the Japanese, Americans, and Germans, especially the Wehrmacht, know that what we have accomplished. Hopefully it will end any delusions they have about attacking us with impunity. The most useful advantage we have gained from the program, however, was the data our scientists recorded. Temperatures, air pressure changes, damage to concrete fortifications, slow motion film, other detonation. Ambient radiation levels, long-term prognosis of human exposure based on varying levels of iodine pre-dosage. All this information is utterly, utterly invaluable and can't be, simply be copied from our neighbors' own programs. Already, our nuclear engineers are poring over the data and developing new methods of improvement. More efficient fizzle myth myth methods, minimizing or maximizing the spread of radioactive fallout, and even preliminary designs for missile delivery systems are already being drafted. This is the only the beginning of the Burgundian nuclear program, and great things shall come of it. Rome was not built in a day, after all. All right, everyone. Anarchy in Barcelona. The Spanish government has been humiliated thanks to the recent rising of the CNT FAI in Barcelona. Separatist movements across Spain are simultaneously both encouraged and upset at the initial success of the rising in attempts of the government to put it down. This provides plenty of fuel for the fires of war, and so it would behoove us to intervene. Mother Chaos loves her sons, and also there's another comment that I want to address. Someone recommends that if we have too many workers, we should get the Autobahn route focus to deal with them. And which is over here, so we can get some infrastructure, which actually, that actually be really good. And uh, actually, I'm thinking, you know what, we might want to get some more workers eventually too, because, well, that would probably be quite beneficial. We can spend money here. Oh, look at that. We at least have 500 skilled workers in the state. Once completed, the minerals from this mine will fetch us $35 million a year. Ooh, more money might not be too bad to get. Um, so right now, so they're questionable. Um, well, that's a lot of political power, though. I don't want to spend it yet. Camps. I love camps. And it's only minus 1,000. So, yeah, we could probably use a few more workers here because, well, we don't have a lot of uh, workers in reserve right now. Um, it is what it is. It's still May. We're doing the finishing up the stench of deceit. There's nothing there as well, so that's fine. All right, so 
Uh, let's keep on going, going, going. And I would like to get rid of anyone here who could be uh, non-compliant with a rule. We'll put it like that. Ten more ooh, police officers a month and raise their monthly recruitment. I like that a lot. A monthly intelligence gain, that's actually pretty good as well. But I'm kind of liking the way we're doing with our uh, workers. Yeah, workers. So we can do this. I want to get some more. I really do want to get some more workers so we can make an even bigger camp. I love camps. And the final moves. Well, this stuff doesn't really matter. Expanding a reach would be actually really good. Uh, monthly skilled workers growth and Ordomo will decrease by 30. Eh. And we're trying to fish up Bear here, so we'll get there eventually. But I guess we could go ahead and expand the Autobahns. The Fiora's greatest contribution to the Aryan people's quality of life in the Reich's early days was undoubtedly the construction of the Reich's Autobahn. Allowing people to travel with ease, doing the same for the Ordnungsstadt highways will be a massive boon for manufacturing and logistics. <sighs> a sneaking suspicion, though, Hedvig. Bring me the files on the Native Legions. The Native Legions Reich's Fiora? That will take a few minutes. I will need to retrieve them from the Waffen SS archives in the cellar. I know, Hedvig. Take your time. Himmler's usual flat tone, Maskus impatient groan. He felt he was on the cusp of discovering something grand. He just needed to find some sort of hint of proof to verify the suspicions he had held ever since the less than enthusiastic commitment of the natives' divisions during the West security operation. The continued backwardness and rejection of German culture was constantly annoying him, and the flouting of the autonomy from the Germanic SS was intolerable, even for the seemingly loyal like... Charlemagne's de la Malzière and Buck Erickson are the Langmark. A few minutes later, his secretary returned with the files. He did not need more than an hour to find what he was looking for, allowing himself a brief, almost unnoticeable smile at the thought of finally crushing a tangible resistance once more. The Reichsführer retrieved a red pencil from his desk and underlined the word Rodomo, retrieving a folder of notes on the reconstitution of the national infrastructure and industry development plans from a different drawer. He found and underlined the word several times in those documents, too, at last. He called the secretary back in to drop an official order of investigation. It isn't paranoia at the are acting out to get you. Ah, the base load to increase. Very good. Walloon and Charlemagne. Good. Very good. But happy June, my friends. Once again, we must do the... I wouldn't say it's a dirty deed. It's a... <clears throat> a deed that we can all enjoy together. Cool. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Just give me all give me all the workers, because I, I, I really... I like managing them and moving them around. Does that, that probably says... Hmm, that seems actually really questionable for me to say that. But they're just numbers on the screen, right? That's just numbers, right? They're 400, 400. That's good enough. Over here, 380. That's a little bit too high. Uh, yeah, we could actually... I, I'm thinking we could use a few more work, a few more workers, actually. So maybe we should encourage them to reproduce so that make sure we always have a constant stream of uh, people to work with. So yeah. Yeah, why not? 1,700. Anything else here? Ooh, open investigations. Ooh, blackmail Charlemagne. Blackmail Walloon. Now let's take a look. So we have the Charlemagne. Oh, I don't remember which one which one we want to do. Walloon seems very questionable, but Charlemagne, I don't like either. The Legion Walloon. Ooh. Current suspicion. Monthly. We have enough intelligence, so we have to do one. Let's do Walloon just because their current suspicion is uh Whoa. Would you look at that? The Walloon Legion. If you like to do about this, please go right ahead. Still presents a challenge for us. Little love between the Aryan and the Walloon, Walloon cultures. Okay. Wow. This is a lot of text. To further look into the suspicions, we have three ways. Looking into a wall of documents. Documented mor morale problems. Okay. Alright. Legion's finances. Oh, I can't remember which one is which. I don't like Charlemagne, but we'll do this one first. Why not? Okay. Let's just do... Look into the morale. Let's review their finances. Cool. Now we wait. Thank you. Now we wait. There's so much to do with Burgundy. Holy crud. Uh, we only 60. You know what? We can do, the, can do both. Hold on. Let's close out of this one first. The Charlemagne Legion. And then let's reopen it. Uh, where is it? Oh, I guess we only do one maybe. Okay, that's fine. Because we do need to save our pee, -pee for a little bit. So, And how it's the Tsar doing in Pakistan? Vyatka? Oh, they're not doing good. Oh, this is a bad idea. Oh, how did... What the heck? Well, seems like this was a waste then. Indonesian War. Wow. Yeah, I don't know if Vyaka could ever win. So, this is going to fail. So, be it. Then we can just move on to something else, hopefully. We currently have any supplies. 30. Uh, that really sucks. Okay, so, hold on. So, I want to see if we get anything here. Because this is my first time doing it. I'm failing something. So, okay. Successful investigation. Okay. We've reported back some good news. 
Uh, a new piece of evidence to look over. Good, as expected. Very nice, very nice. A dead end. Oh, that's not good. Okay. The truth will be revealed in time. Um, do we get... Okay, global plan bear. So, that really sucks. Open investigations. Curse suspicious when he saw. Let's do these guys. Next. Oh, if you'd like to read about these guys, please go right ahead. And then Mazier. Rumors, drug rumors. New territories. Not any disturbances. I like that one. Good. Good. Current suspicion is both 20. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, well. I guess we've wasted enough time. Is this going to cancel or not? Uh... I... Nothing's happening here, so... I guess we have to cancel it. That was stupid. Why? Why? Do you not get it canceled automatically? Pfft. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, no, there is, one of the main reasons why I'm playing Burgundy right now is because eventually I do... Hurt. I have heard that they will get a rework eventually, so... That was basically a big old waste of time. Wow, that really sucks. So I might actually go back at in the past and fix things up a little bit so we might just just not, might not spend a lot of time with resources from them so yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see if i go back in the past and try to maybe remedy things maybe at the beginning of the next episode just because i want to get through some of this stuff together bringing up the grand plans the land of the olden shot is one steeped in thousands of years of history unfortunately much of that history was while was while under the rule of degenerate judeo-cosmopolitan societies and the corruption has infused itself into the stone and soil of its cities what we truly need is a place wiped clean of impurities a blank slate on which to call the national socialist vision all right everyone so i've gone back ahead of time in the past and basically played up to the, till this point May 14th, 1965, and basically canceled the, well, Global Plan Bear just because, well, it didn't go so well. But I do want to apologize to everyone just because I thought for some reason that we had these plans here and that we could, like, finish them. The only one that I found out that you could actually finish and complete is Global Plan Condor, which is what we currently are doing right now. So, um, when I clicked on that and did Global Plan Condor, all of these, like we did in the first episode, auto-completed, so... Things have been going on down in uh, Iberia. It is what it is, but division all around. Both of the inept are barbarians who find themselves at the helm of the Iberian Union have become distracted with political pandemonium and African massacres. So much so that the very men who claim to be representatives of the Spanish and Portuguese people find themselves looking everywhere except for Hispania and Lusitania. The time has come to fuel all those within to create the true implosion necessary to drag the world into the fires of the, of the Iberian Peninsula. As the time has come for all the subgroups of barbarians throughout the Iberian Peninsula to rise to the coming firestorm. The Catalonians Oiscaldungnac and the Galician shall all find themselves in contact with errant advisors wielding rifles and grenades made by the Germans and becoming in tune with the bank of the Oldenstadt more so than ever. So cool, which is what we're currently doing. I do want to apologize, just I thought we could complete some of these plans, but apparently not, but I've decimated our workforce, unfortunately, just because, as, as you guys said, use the Autobahn, and I'm like, okay, well, we're we're, we're, lacked, we're lacking quite a few guys here, and we're lacking even more guys now. So I'm not too worried about not having enough uh, laborers, but overall, uh, I've really decimated the workforce here. Holy crap. Six, oh, we have 2,000 officers for 60 laborers. That's, yeah, that's a bit extreme. So at this point, so we're going to do division all around. And I'm not even going to look at probably for this month. I mean, we could, but I mean, yeah, I'm not worried about this at all. Like, I have completely devastated these regions of France, or <clears throat> what was France at one point. Look at that. We have 305, there's 500 here. That's actually not too bad. Uh, Communist reunify uh, Kazakhstan, Soviet, Soviet, and digging our claws in. It is surprisingly simple to steer the Spanish separatist movement in the directions we desire. After decades on the back foot against the Falange, most of them are heavily radicalized and willing to accept almost any foreign aid without asking too many questions about its prov provenance. The Austrian work of battalion in particular is extremely pl pliable, and the leadership being willing to do pretty much anything we ask them in return for our aid. Soon, chaos will reign across Spain if these successes continue. Thailand und Erobern. Which I forget what Erobern means. Oh, look at this. Copa Condor. Resources, uh, su resources, supplies. So that's kind of cool that we actually get to see what they have. And now we can get some more supplies. I mean, currently we have 72, which is pretty good. We definitely need some more stability and war support. What happened here? Purge of the Rod, of course. Poverty, Legion Loyalty. Oh, Legion Loyalty, huh? Purge the Rod, Shadow State, which is all normal stuff. Ah, the loyalty is pretty darn low, which actually kind of hurts us. Loyal, loyal, questionable. That is not ideal. Overall, I mean, I, 
for this month, and probably for the next few months, we really don't have to check this too much, maybe except for this one. Actually, do we, have any, we have no one in reserve, so we'll take you. Anyone else? Not really. I mean, literally 181 there. Oof. Actually, got more space. 151. We just got to make sure we got enough guys up here. So, yeah, we're doing really well. We need more growth. Um, how do we get rid of uh, these legions? Like, they need to be more loyal. 53 balloon. We'll do them next. Wow. This is just this is just a little nuts. Look, review the command. Let's see. We want at least go 89. That's fine. Execute operation authorized. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Provide the fuel. Subhuman humanitarians and pacifists would argue that idealism comes comes flourishing into the world through the ink upon legislation or the words adorning the crowd in a great speech or through the raising of charity funds through an international charity work. Someone who has delved into the world of geopolitics will instruct you on ideas births into the world through the firing of a rifle, the explosion of artillery strike, or through the nuclear bomb followed alongside the profits that come from such ventures. This shall be our guiding concept in dealing with the Iberian separatists. Arms produced by the olden shots shall be sold to the brave men and who fight for the freedom and independence from the dictatorial rule of Franco and Salazar, allowing for chaos to be sown whilst the organs stopped finds further wealth from these purchases. The likes for SS shall be most pleased in our successes should all sales go well. Nice. Very good. So, yeah, we can't do any of this stuff, but that's fine. I mean, I, I, I decimated the workforce. Holy crud. Max out infrastructure. That was more building space. Thank you very much. Additionally, we're probably going to need some more armed sales. So, yeah, not bad. 100 political power. Uh, that's fine. A successful investigation. Very good. As expected. Very good. Nice, especially 31. We'll probably do these guys next, but we don't have enough intel right now. It is what it is. I'm not even going to look for this month uh, for uh, stuff, resistance and such, just because I've already decimated them so hard it doesn't even matter. Just, my goodness, I have done really bad stuff to them, but that's okay. Smuggling, blowing on the sparks. Ooh. Oh, and of course we have the Indonesian War once again. Start manipulating the various factions to stir up the pot. Well, I want to do that, but I also want to do this as well. A veil, lower decision. Uh, more police officers every month. Raise their monthly recruitment. Increase their monthly intelligence game will be unlocked. I kind of want to do that one. I'd like to get more intelligence as much as possible, please. That'd be very, very nice. So, a mole in every quarter. Headquarter. The legions have served us, and they have served us against us. They've provided use and split our own areas against us. These roguish scoundrels have troubled us just as much as they've lent a hand in securing our lands. And it's time that we reassert our control so that we make sure that they never may threaten us again already. We've managed to extend the shadows of our operations, however, it is time to fully expand our operation in totality. The recruitment and deployment of greater amounts of spies across all fronts of these legions will allow us to gain a greater understanding of their operations than we have ever had before. And allow us to prepare any potential contingency we may have to counter these terrorists. Never again shall we allow noble Aryan blood to soak the ground because of these Judeo-Bolshevik partisans, and never again we will find destruction because of this treachery. And never again will we face defeat in the face of these barbarians. Very good. Yeah. Oh, smuggle arms. That'd be kind of nice. Uh, we'll be provided with additional resources to so chaos. We get some money, which is pretty nice. Future smuggling operations become more difficult. Oh, that's not good. Loyal. Um, I really want to increase this as much as possible. Suspicion 28. That's not bad. Um, we don't have any evidence yet, so that's okay, I guess. But let's grab some of that because we can and grab some of this. Even more resource efficiency gain, please. We still only have three, which is not good, but whatever. I guess refiners really aren't helping us out. Still minus 102. I mean, it is helping us out, just barely, though. Realistically, just barely. Cool. And it's only 10. CNT resources. Let's help out. Let's help with ETA. They look the most aggressive. That'd be kind of nice. Man, I've decimated this region. Uh, give me some more guys, because we're going to need to make sure that these guys always have more than enough in the Royal Domo. Victory for the DCE in Italy. Good for you, I guess. A mole in every HQ. <clears throat> External logistics. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and do this one. We did this one before we faded and faded out, so I want to get more skilled workers. Because uh, we realistically need them right now. Uh, over here. Oh, support is minus 0.2. Let's go CNT then. Better have some supplies, CNT. Not bad. Not bad. And we have more than enough police officers. So I want to round up some of these numbers because they're not very good. 2,000 is pretty good. 1,500, 2,000, 2,000, 2,300, military austerity. Nope. 
Oh, we actually have some liquid reserves. Cut down the debt a little bit. Even though GDP would probably be better, but whatever. Oh, you can actually go and put a bunch of guys here then. Um, actually, hold on. Let's do like this. Cut it down. And put them all in 450. That's kind of nice. That's pretty nice. Uh, construction stuff. More construction speed would be bad, but hey, it is what it is, you know. Oh, yes, build, build, my friends, build. All right. Not bad. I'd like to smuggle some more supplies in. That'd be really good. But it does cost us some PP, and that... Mm, go do that, why not? Screw it, why not? Bring out the grand plans, my friends. Final tier of brutal cities. All brutal cities are going to increase the effectiveness of state surveillance. Ooh, rebirth of that stuff. In which we will be going unsavory friends, too. But let's do... Blowing on the Spock, so whispers of secrets and information have always carried on a certain level of weight within human civilization, and it's endless conflicts strewn about the winding, winding pages of history. And wars have been started and countries have been scorched for far, far less than just a few rumors and lies. These shall become our agents' new tools for sparking conflict across the Iberian Peninsula, as the rowdy independence movements shall find themselves hearing of the supposed audacity of Franco in his most recent execution of an esteemed independence fighter, or the fabricated mishandlings of Salazar and his accidental destruction of a great source of cultural pride for these fighters for autonomy. And while tensions brew within the peninsula, the world shall soon be grappled by this conflict's mighty grasp. Very good. We could use more daily political power, though. That'd be nice. We still have any supplies? 62 is not bad. Even though I don't like this the, this loyalty of the Legion. Resets of Italy, that's fine. ETA might not be bad. It's either ETA or CNT, so. Investigations, how are they looking? 41 is not bad. Uh, can we do anything, anything here, maybe? Observing territories, looking at drug rumors. That's good enough. I hope we can find stuff about them. Even though we're probably just crazy. We're probably just crazy. So, worker supply. So, yeah, it is what it is, you know? Alright, so up next, I would, as much as I'm going to do this, ignite the powder keg. Oh! I bury the half breed state. Prepare, preparing the tinder. Ooh. Even though I would like to get some more stuff over here first regarding extending our logistics. Even though we really, really need that. Let's extend our logistics first regardless. The oldest shot stands as one of the greatest hallmarks of human history though, through its ability to engage in a glorious conquest and find itself at the helm of a new, more pure era. Even though the forge of inner discontent and warfare against us, our achievements stand unparalleled and it's only through the inherent superiority of our blood coupled with the strength of the oldest shot that we've been able to forge new paths for humanity. However, with outstanding feats come the vicious and envious parasites who have worked so desperately to undo our work in lands not fully secured yet it's time to change this as we shall expand the guard forces of the olden shut in order to ensure stability and new, new territories so that we may stamp out any threats to the vision of the rexfear ss very good oh wow look at this minor boost activity nice even though that requires so much pp that we don't have so yeah i would love to get more pp please Yeah, how many supplies do we have? 57. We're losing a few supplies every month, which is not very bueno. Um, whose activities? Activities? ETA might not be too bad. ETA? We've decided to step up their activities? Uh, go and why not? 3.3? That's not too bad. And I'm going to keep some more uh, guys here, too. Yeah, overall, like... Uh, actually, we can take some of you guys out. Oh, expand brutal cities? Six infrastructure? Well, give me your guys, then. Because we're going to need a few extra guys here. Uh, yeah. I, I should not kill this many guys, but that's alright. Oh, new month. New month. And that's already the city, so. Take, give me everything you've got, pretty much. Uh, okay, so we can expand some of these places. That's not bad. Mm, 2,000. That's good enough. More than good enough. Loyalty, it's extremely good around here, so... Actually, give me a, a massive amount of your guys. Actually, yeah, give me, 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 give me. I want to have a lot of these guys where I'm sending them. Rodomo? Or Normandy? Explain Brutalist Cities? In exchange for 2,000 workers, we can build the local cities in the new Brutalist fashion, increasing surveillance effectiveness and scaled worker growth rate. The first stage of construction will require at least 6 infrastructure, and the stage... in the state, will stage 2 season 2 require 8 and 10. This is what I want to do. Um, literally put everything we have here. Because we just got rid of 2,000 of them. Nice. 
Uh, actually, can we, we can improve the infrastructure. Build factories? No, we're okay. We don't have enough of that there. Um, actually, there you go. That, they'll quickly come to senses. Uh, so as you can see, I, I, I brutally destroyed so many people here. That's nice. Very good. Walloon. There you go. Can you improve the infrastructure anymore here? Hopefully not. Muy bueno. Alright, not bad. Extend our logistics. And then avail over every eye. Dissenters across Western Europe proclaim some sense of untrue superiority as if their ideals, goals, and beliefs stand above the rightful masterdom that the Aryan possesses over this darkened earth. Across the land, such rats scheme in the shadows, licking their wounds from their disastrous defeat at the hands of the mighty Aryan warrior, preparing for the more venomous strikes to be carried out against our great men who enforce the will of the Oldenstadt upon the purified people. No more can we allow this, as it is time for our intelligence operations upon these rats to maintain a new level of clandestinism. Only the darkest of shadows, the reddest of ink, and the most secure of positions, only the best of the best for our operations carried out against these traitors, for with these advancements we shall establish control once more. So much as I want to do that, it's okay. Increase officer capacity. Ooh! Using a new recruitment strategy will increase our off monthly officer gain by 25. Great! Starring Sipo. The boy got up at 0630 Central European time as mandated and punctuated by the blare of the revelry. As he donned his black uniform, he allowed himself a brief moment of reflection on whether he did the right thing to pursue a career in the Sipo already at 18, but the streak of independent reflection was cut short when his watch commander called out the badge number that was the entirety of his individual identity until his training was complete. At 0700, the boy was on parade, one of the endless rows of black-clad young trainees, identical haircuts and assets approved skin tones, leaving a motionless sea of black and white, occasionally disturbed by the wave of a, sal of a salute. At 0900, the boy had a class on how dangerous it was to approach a suspect that did not know if it was an armed resistance member. Endless black and white clubs of steeple officers getting shot burned in a silvery sheen through the dark until the boy's eyes hurt. At 1200 hours, the boy enjoyed his lunch, oatmeal with slices of apple. The boy played with the thought of how jealous of people outside the walls of the barracks might be of such fruity extravagance. At 1500 hours, the boy was told he would get to accompany some elder boys on a training patrol in the countryside that evening. The boy was delighted and proud. At 1837 hours, a mere two kilometers from their home base, the patrol was set up by riding farmers out to lynch someone for the accidental shooting of a girl by an unknown party. The boy was terrified as the older boys got beaten up and dragged away. At 1838, the man opened fire with his rifle, killing for, killing for farmers and wounding an additional six. Four farmers. At 1911, reinforcements arrived, finding the man standing in the same spot, trembling. At just after 2300 hours, the man fell asleep, crying into his pillow. He should have known who the police really protect in the Oldenstadt. Oh, is this still not... Give me guys. We're gonna need him. Good, 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 good. Hey, look at our peepee. -pee. I really wanna hop out the ETA. Like, I don't know why, I just really want to help with the ETA right now. 51 supplies. It will cost one supply for that. Um, we will get $200 million. Resources wise, they're not too bad, but help them out. Cool. And after that, I know I need to do this stuff up here as well, but like. And they still have the stuff about South Africa for some reason because the war's already ended, but. Puppeting the terrorists! Pride and vanity corrupts the entire soul of Iberia's corruption and decadence paints them as some of the true enemies of purity. Recognizing this, their arrogance shall be their downfalls. Already we have infiltrated the ranks of their independence movements and allowed for our agents to make headway into the leadership. We must expand these operations and forward more agents towards Iberia as one by one these movements will find themselves in a state of unknown subjugation while we take control more and more, ramping up their potential turn towards violence and allowing for further opening of conflicts as our actions grow greater and more their movements grow stronger. Furthermore, we must direct our special focus towards our own great asset dwelling in the Iberian Peninsula. So which so oftenly reports straight back to us, their masters, the Asturian Workers' Battalion. Good. Nice. And let's keep get some more refineries because we're going to, you know, look at all this infrastructure. It's so good. Uh, go and do that first, though. So build that one up. That'd be nice. Get one refinery at a time. That's fine. Good. Oh, nope. Spend, cut. Currently have 44 supplies. It is really hurting us doing this. Oh, look at that. What the heck? Actually, you know what? Put them all back. There you go. Oh, look at those guys. Clear space. There we go. 200 more. Put. Make sure we got enough guys in here, though. 
Normandy is going to need a lot more guys. Cool, and we're done with our land auction pretty much. Oh, the revolt has been crushed. Very nice, very nice. Oh, well, look at this. Weekly stability goes down. Counterintelligence against Walloon. Suspicion of us will decrease by a small amount through the use of new deception tactics. I don't want to lose stability. I really don't. Increase intelligence gathering. Weekly war sport goes down as well as political... Wow, that sucks. That really sucks. Suspicion 10, 10. I'll do Charlemagne first. Oh, look at this. Widespread meth use. Analyze the crystals. Bribe the dealers. Let's bribe the dealers. Uh, 80% is good enough, right? Counterintelligence, intelligence gathering. Yeah, I, we already have been hurt by this stuff, so that's not good. Puppeting the terrorists. Terrorism is a racket. <clears throat> Men throughout history have used the powers of charisma, leadership, and negotiation in order to ensure that greater changes are made with the world in order to shape society as they see fit. However, such methods are drastically overlooked in the world of today, whilst the modern tools for incredible change have come in the shape of rifles, bombs, and nuclear weapons across the world. The land of Iberia, both Hispania and Lusitania, shall be the perfect place for our operation, as the man fighting for independence shall find himself purchasing the new weapon of war straight out of Aryan hands, and such great profits. <clears throat> of being distributed right back into the Odenshaw's banks. While the world looks on as war may break out and blood shall be spread across Iberia, we shall be enjoying every great share of profits handled over, handed over by the frenzied independent movements across the peninsula. Separating the separatists. The difficulties we have faced in maintaining control over the squabbling Iberian separatist movements have been as manifold as the difficulties of the government in keeping control of the country. It is hard to stop them from being distracted by petty internal squabbles, and many of the more left-wing movements began growing increasingly skeptical to our arms shipments as they start to suspect their origins. Not every faction can be as willingly subverted as our friends the Asturians, but that can be easily remedied using our strategically placed insiders. False information about another political faction making it seem the weapon comes from us here, a bit of propaganda there, and maybe some slight application of bribery, blackmail, and political smearing where necessary. If we can continue to su successfully wrangle the separatists using our insiders, it may be time to begin considering withdrawing some of our German agents from Iberia to lessen the risk of detection. Iberia shall fall. I get 30 more police officers, not bad. Hmm... That's what you've done here. A successful investigation. Very good. As expected. Uh, let's see up here. Ooh, actually, you got a few too many guys, eh? I don't think so, son. Thank you very much. Rodomo needs their laborers. Just give them all of them. Over here, looking too good. Uh, curbing degeneracy. With the fall of France once again, the succession of great tracts of their land to the Ornstadt came a predictable consequence. The acquisition of millions of Frenchmen, ill-suited to the established Burgundian ideal, the usual rate of re-education and Germanization, efforts, however, will not suffice in this case. <clears throat> Whilst we may rely on part of the SS Charlemagne collaborators, and while they may pl utter pledges of loyalty to the Reichswehr SS upon a regular basis, they may not be ignored for what they are, French nationalists, who surely long for the days where their strength is great enough to topple the Oldenstadt, to which they are made to bend the knee. And this novel base of Frenchmen is surely a tantalizing opportunity for them. This opportunity for treason will be dis disintegrated in front of them. No more shall the instability wrought by Charlemagne grow. All efforts of re-education and Germanization shall be redoubled, until all living in the French territories are brought under the Germanic wing. The stability of the Oldenstadt replies upon it. And relies upon it. Reigning in the Frenchman. Good. So they're still loyal, which is nice. Um, yeah, I've decimated some of these areas for the foreseeable future. So. Oh, well. Um, just put them all here. There you go. Oh, we already expanded the Brutalist stuff for as much as possible. Wow. Very nice. Peace conference. Oh, look at this. Incite rage? Provided plenty of incentives to step up their activities. Oh, uh, that's not bad. CNT is not doing too bad either. Well, supply wise, we we're at 38, which is not good. It looks like we're losing about 6 a month, which is not good. But happy 1966, everyone. Intelligence. Oh, look at this. Domestic education. We have 50. Another modifier. Wow. 
In order to successfully convert recently acquired French territories, it is essential that Himmler have a proper support base over Charlemagne. We have use of national indoctrination, which can be gained and spent to perform actions to help covert states, which become Burgundian once Himmler loyalty is 1.5 times greater than initial Charlemagne loyalty, and a new decision regarding cultural conversion has been taken. Susceptibility re represents a state's willingness to convert to a glorious Burgundian culture, and the higher the sus susceptibility in the state, the larger the Himmler loyalty will be boosted from decisions. Should we get impatient with recent conversion efforts, eventually, we may be able to take harsher conversion methods usually at great cost. Shut down French schools. The situation deteriorates. Eliminate... Oh, boy. Him the loyalty goes down. Shut down French schools. Gain more national indoctrination. This means we will weaken non himmler loyalty by zero per month. A lot of people... Oh, the center has a lot of susceptibility. Vichy has a susceptibility of 11. Our academic base will get to worse. Become worse. Poverty relief. Oh, poverty gets better. Not bad. We get more oh, actually, we can get more stability. That'd be really good to get. Ease SS fears. We will lose a lot of indoctrination. The education crisis. Every own state loyalty will go up by 10. Wow, this is... This is a lot. No wonder they said that you need to really be ready for this when this stuff happens. So, the end. Eliminate French culture from all recently acquired territories. If not completed within 500 days, let them eat lead. Yeah, that's always one way to do it. Uh, so, there's some money stuff. Huh, okay. Convert states. So, I guess that... Actually, we can probably close this one because we're already already way too involved in that. So, over here, we don't have enough uh, intelligence, which sucks. So, do we have anything for converting states here? I don't think so. Susceptibility. Actually, the center has a lot of susceptibility. So the center, is there anywhere I can click on here? Burgund, center sued, center is right here. Culture is French. I don't see any sort of button here, so that's okay. Civilian oversight is always very nice to do. Or, that'd be actually cool. Oh, harsh pressure, that's not bad. Um, no gears in civilian oversight. So, it is what it is. And I'm sorry that I, I don't know this perfectly, because I'm still somewhat learning this like, you know, normal. But, I kind of want to do some of this stuff. Lose indoctrination. Shut down French schools. That's fine. Let's do that. Why not? Poverty relief. We could really use more stability. 70 indoctrination. This means we will weaken non himmler loyalty by 30 every month. Uh, that's not bad. Situation deteriorates. That's not good. Happy... F uh, was it February? That's February. Oh, look. They're almost ready to have too many guys here. That's nice. Shove them back in here. Anything in here? No, 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 no. I've decimated so many areas, and I love it. Sometimes there's just way more police than actual, like, people here. Which is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Oh, terrorism is a racket. Go figure. We can non him or load by 30. Good, good, good. Ease SS fears. I don't want to lose this. The education crystal will receive a bonus instability. Him or loyalty. Oh, actually, every own state... Himmler loyalty be raised by 10. I like more loyalty. Um, we can spend it right now. Lose 20. Go and do that one. Do both. Why not? And we'll see what happens. And then we should conclude this episode with... Well, and at the powder keg. The Oiskaldunak is greatly, so greatly proud of their Basque countryside. have always found themselves opposed to the Spaniard and the Portuguese, figuring for themselves to have an air of superiority and a constant plea for nationalistic independence, as worthless as they may prove to be. Knowing this, a scent of blood will flow through the air, as the Spanish will seemingly have a massive attack against them perpetrated by the darn Escolandunak. In reality, however, our agents shall be watching this unfold as the main forces behind the attack, and will be ready for when the Spanish sent their forces to massacre the people of the Basque, and unveil the true call to independence for them and for all minorities seeking Spanish blood. And I want to finish this by seeing what happens with this. We get more stability and proprietary rate. Every own state gets more loyalty, which is very, very good. Come on, two days left. And... Oh, we can shut down French schools again. Sure, why not? More susceptibility. 20 national indoctrination. Very nice. 30 every month. All right, Barbie relief. We lose 20 more, but we get more stability, actually. Oh, I don't think we can get any more. We didn't get any more here. That's probably because of the Legion loyalty, which really just sucks. But... I guess that's going to end us here for today. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow when uh, Iberia hopefully will fall apart, or we do okay. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.